I am so excited to be sitting next to this amazing woman. This is Aspen Mattis, if you don't already know. She is the best-selling author of Girl in the Woods and Your Blue is Not My Blue. And she happens to be, I'm talking about you in front of your face, so like, don't listen. Um, she happens to be my muse and inspiration and creative mentor and I, over the last few years, have had the blessing of working with her slash you, <laughs> and I've learned so much, and I've been on a creative path for a long time, and used to teach Artist Way workshops way back when, and all I know is that when I met you, I feel like everything was brought to a higher place, and so many times I've been in the spirit, in the in the working with you, and I felt like this is magic. This is a magic zone. And, Thank you. <laughs> and I know just recently we talked about, Aspen and I talked about, let's like see if we can share this with people and bring people in and help to fan the flames of creativity. So what is, what is the magic zone to you, Aspen? To me, the, the magic zone is the state of complete presence with what you're creating, where it's not like arduous and right. it's not a function of effort and muscle, but rather of, of just inspiration and flow. And flow. Yeah. Right. I talk to so many creative people that are in different stages of their creation, all the way from having an idea, but never making time for it or having so many ideas and being in production with so many things that they're just stressed out mm. and there's so many other schisms and issues but one thing that I observe about you and that I learn and that I get from being around you is the ease and simplicity and high productivity I mean since I've known you I've produced so much and well, I can't really take the credit <laughs> for that. <laughs> but I, so part of what the magic zone is, from my perspective, is it, it is like just copy and paste, ditto, ditto, what Aspen said. It's, it's the state of consciousness where you're in that flow state and you're in sync with the universe and you trust it and there's, there's ecstasy along the way. And to me, I feel like that should be normal. And that's what I want to create as normal so that it's rare when there's like a hiccup. And we've designed this class. We've actually spent quite some time designing, yeah. like really drilling into what do we, yeah. what do we want to be in this? And I'm, I'm, I'm excited to share this with y'all. I'm excited by like the, the experience that we're all going to have together, like with so many exercises designed to prompt and tap into like latent creativity like I'm just so excited to see how people have creative awakenings and to see the the work that they create during these eight weeks right yeah. so part of the this eight week time capsule that we've created is we want this to be a place where you come in with a project you come in with an idea some kind of a goal in mind and you get supported by us and the guest creators that we're bringing in that are master creators, people at the top of their creative game. So we're gonna have those people also help to fan the flames of your particular projects. And by the way, Aspen doesn't do this all that regularly. This isn't something <laughs> that she does all the time. I've, I feel like I just, said hello to a unicorn would you be willing to like be in the world and like this special person <laughs> is willing to come out of kind of her inner creative cave and share with you so aspen by herself i think would make this a course worth taking but then add to it we've got from my perspective we've got um that i know rasuli an amazing um artist painter fusion artist we've got kosar who is a world-renowned dancer and Sufi dancer, Manny Mashouf, who is the creator and founder of BB Clothes Fashion, Pamela Pamela Phillips Oland, who's an incredibly prolific and successful um, playwright and um, and songwriter. And who else do we have? 
And Suzanne Heathcote, who is the current showrunner of Killing Eve, the hit TV series. So good. And uh, Grace Phipps, also known as Gracie Galam, who uh, is like a, the star of so many different shows and movies. And she's, I think, best known for um, being a, a Disney Channel star and the star of a few movies on the Disney Channel. But she's also now writing and directing herself. And um, yeah. So this is really, oh, and we also have Eric Morris, who is an acting teacher and an actor himself in his own right, but an acting teacher. He's he's coached Johnny Depp. He's coached um, Jack Nicholson. He's He's been like, I mean, really to A-list stars. And he's got some techniques that are very spiriting. Um, I was in the acting world for a long time and I think if he had been my acting coach back then that's that's probably where I'd still be because he teaches you how to access sub-personalities and really bring them to life which is going to be one spoiler alert it's like one part of what we're going to be teaching so I'm excited. Oh and we have Susan Shapiro oh, as well. Yeah she's <laughs> going to be she's kind yeah. of our home run our last yeah. Like we're going to end the whole series with Susan Shapiro. So tell us about Susan Shapiro. Well, Sue is definitely my mentor and like I'm so... My grand mentor. Yeah. Well, and you're also my mentor. So it's all it's all holographic or oh. whatever you want to call it. But yeah, she um, is probably the... Like I don't even know how to describe her um, impact on her students. Like when I first took her class, I was 21 years old and... Her class, um, the promise of the class was the instant gratification takes too long school of journalism and the goal of the class was to write and publish a beautiful piece by the end of the class to pay for the class. So um, you get an A if you get paid. So it's kind you of got like, an A. <laughs> well, I think almost everyone in the class did, which is what really blew my mind. Like I broke into the New York Times in that class and I was one of like nine students to get into the New York Times. Like, I was not the exception. It's really Sue's magic, and she really, she helps you to discover the story that you have um, burning within you and how to best express it in a way that will resonate um, with many people. Right. It's like there's that perspective that, that only a small percentage of people can actually make a living with their art, and from the perspective of these mentors that we're bringing in, and Sue particularly, it's kind of like, no, no, the, the, the odds are reversed. Right. So if you're somebody who's creative and you are already making a living, but you'd like there to be more flow, or you're somebody who's just always dreamed of being a creative person that could actually have fund your lifestyle with your creativity, then I think this is, this is going to be something for you. And we don't know if this will ever happen again. This may be a once in a lifetime kind of a thing. So we hope that you will join us. So the Magic Zone is going to start February 15th. So it's around Valentine's Day. So think of it as a Valentine's Day gift to yourself. It's Magic Mondays. It's a series of eight Mondays in a row, concluding on April 5th. It'll be from 4 to 6 p.m. Pacific time. That means 7 to 9 Eastern time. Woo, I can do math. Mm -hmm. And um, join us and click over wherever the button is and get your place. And we will see you in the magic zone. See you in the magic zone. In the magic, don't let it slip away. Trust you have it. I know it's been a day. That's why you gotta stay, 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 stay in your magic. Honey, I know how you're feeling when you start getting low. Stay, 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 stay in your life.